hope y'all it's t bit here we got another cool transformers pickup this is transformers legacy buzzworthy bumblebee creatures collide this is a pretty cool set man uh, they've had four packs like these before at um at target and the last one it was pretty expensive i don't think it ever went on sale but this one i got it for like 53 bucks i think um plus tax and all that free shipping though through because you know target target circle member but anyways i got it on sale because it had it you know marked down at least like 20 30 bucks down i think because it was like originally like 70 something but anyways you get autobot gold bug or bumblebee or whatever and you get a ransack sky wasp and predacon scorponok man so it's pretty cool and um yeah man really cool variants of uh like I guess this guy would be like Waspinator and then yeah, Scorponok. And then what was it? Um Kickback or whatever? You get like a, you know, a cool variant of him, so that's pretty cool too. Check out the back of the box. So this is all you get. Pretty cool stuff, man. And they come with quite a bit of accessories too, man. So it's pretty awesome. And it's a licensed Volkswagen car, man. It's for uh, Hasbro, so it's pretty cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh, check these figures out, man. Hey folks, and here's our lineup and our gold bug. Ransack, good old Sky Wasp, and Predacon Scorponok. It's cool because I don't have a Scorponok, and I have these other figures, but, man, these are cool variants, and, they're just, yeah, there's slight variations with these figures, which is cool. And um, also comes the big old booklet for instructions for all these characters on, you know, with extra accessories you can add, and the ones that are standard, too, so that's pretty cool. And then you get all your weapons and stuff. Let's see. Right, cool. So there you go, man. It's a lot of stuff. It's got an extra head, like the regular Insecticon head for Ransack, so that's cool. And then another head for, I believe, is it Waspinator? I can't remember, but it's got the light piping, which is cool. We can get into that a little bit somehow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's kind of hard. Let's see. There you go. It's cheesy, but it's kind of a big deal. I don't know. I always think that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, man, we'll have to delve into these in a little bit. And, yeah, all the accessories and stuff. There's gun, guns, guns and stuff, and more guns. So that's cool, man. And... Yeah, I guess this would be Scorponok's other head. So, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Okay. And this would be Sky Wasp's other head. So, yeah. So, there you go. That's weird. I wonder if you can just... They're interchangeable, like, flipping it back and forth. Seems like you could do that if you wanted to. That's kind of cool, to be honest with you. Here they are. It's pretty rad, man. I haven't had a Bumblebee figure in a while. Or, I mean, it's Goldbug, but yeah. Same thing to me, you know. But that's cool. Even though I do have the Shattered Glass version of him. But it's still, it's, it's not quite the same. And I already have this guy, but different variant. So that's cool. But I, I like this yellow. This goldish yellow look, which is cool. Has some wings, so that's pretty rad. Very cool. Let's see. And we have good old Sky Wasp and regular Waspinator. So you can see right there. A little bit darker colors, which is cool. Which reminds me of the Bug Wasp thing or whatever from, um, or Hornetroid from uh, Colors from Microman. I see that a lot, a heck of a lot. And then good old Scorponok, which is cool because I don't have Sandstorm and I don't have Scorponok. So that's pretty freaking cool. He's got his little rocket launcher hand. Or claw. So it's pretty neat, man. With Predacon logos on there. So it's cool. And this little drone thing that pops out. Is this supposed to be Waspinator, maybe? That's pretty cool. Nice metallic purple claws and like exoskeleton or whatever, or shell or whatever. But I always thought he had a monkey face, too. It's kind of funny. Yeah, he's rad, man. Cool figure, man. Cool, cool figure. And I guess we can interchange the heads. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, there you go. Just slides out. 
Oop. And it slides in. So that's cool, man. Your variant heads. And then let's do his. Which is rad, man. I love this figure. It's really cool. And the translucent wings. It's pretty rad, too. Very cool. Oh, yeah. I've got to plug his gun thing in the back. Which I don't remember if you do. Yeah, you do that with the other one, too. So it's cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this head off. I think you got it. Yeah, there you go. Simple. There you go. That's pretty cool, man. I like that head. That's cool. Seems a little bit more robotic, which is rad. I could take him either way, so that's cool. And there we go. But I like his this head too because this looks more like a like a Decepticon robot. Well, they're both Decepticons, you know, or but just I don't know. They're just both robotic, but this one's just a little different, which is cool. So that's always good too. So take that out. And then yeah, and that's the standard head. So yeah, but we're gonna leave this one in because it's the variant and cool. So yeah, there you go, man. Really, really cool. Folks, and here's a kickback with Ransack. So yeah, you can have a cool Insecticon army, even though it's the same figure. You can have, I don't know, it's cool, man. You can have a, you can have a little squad, so that's pretty awesome. Very down with that, so it's really, really cool. Very awesome. And here we have Goldbug completely surrounded by all these Insecticons and Predacons and whatever cons. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, but I, I, I got to tell you, these are kind of a pain in the butt to transform, man. Especially, he's kind of confusing. You can figure it out. The thing is with these, which I figured out because I'm an old school G1 boomer guy or whatever. And what I figured out is you just got to take your time and really eyeball the instructions. And you can figure it out. Uh, because And that and it also helps, you know, having a buddy that you hang out with online that... Uh, that has these figures too. So you can like be like, Hey, what, what, what do you do if you do this? And then you can get that advice and then look in the instructions and then kind of figure out and go from there and figure out yourself and stuff. It helps a bit, but, um, but yeah, this is really cool, man. Really cool. Said he can use the, the back of his, uh, trunk and hood or whatever for a shield. And he's got the guns and stuff. And then Scorpinox pretty cool. Got his little missile pods out. And then his little fly drone or whatever. Got that out. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. And uh, the legs look awesome. I like the purples and the blacks. It's really cool. And the reds. Just looks like a, it looks, I don't know. I like just the way they did the shell and stuff on the claws and the armor. It's really cool. It's almost kind of translucent. Very metallic, glittery. And just the details are rad. It's a cool figure, man. It's really cool. Trans getting figuring out these legs is kind of weird, but I got it figured out. It was kind of weird though. But yeah, he's getting he's getting attacked. And then Ransack's pretty cool. It took me a minute to remember how to transform him, but yeah, it's pretty rad, dude. It's cool. Looks awesome. So yeah, he's about to get <laughs> he's about to get banged, man. Big pretty hard. <laughs> and here's uh Sky Wasp, which is kind of like Sky Warp. But really cool. And kind of reminds me of Hornetroid from uh, Microman or Micronauts. But yeah, this was a weird transformation too. That just kind of took me for a loop. But um, but other than that, man, it's a cool little freaking set, dude. It's really cool and it's fun because you can just kind of um, come up with your imagination. Some kind of crazy battle on Cybertron with all these different, you know, Transformers from different kingdoms, from different eras. It's really, it's really rad. It's really cool to have like, you know, a multiverse and just have some fun with it and use your imagination. And finally, we have him in his alt car mode, which is pretty cool because you can actually rig this up pretty awesomely with the, and take the back of the part of the cab off of the car and rig this gigantic gun up, which is awesome. On his little Volkswagen bug. So that's, that's cool. And Beetle. That's freaking rad. Or you could just have it plain. You could switch the arms around the, other, the opposite way and just put it back together as normal. And then just put these like little things as like skids and maneuver the, the guns as like rockets for the back wheels and stuff. But yeah, here he goes. Ready to bust his way out. <laughs> and riding his way off to victory, man. To save his butt from <laughs> the evil Decepticons and 
Predacons and yeah. <laughs> It's awesome, man. Really cool set, man. But anyways, I got this at Target. They have it at my local Target. I don't think it's on sale anymore, but it was because it was going for like 70-something bucks. And then I got it for like 53 plus, uh, plus uh, yeah, tax and stuff like that. But anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. Let me know what you think about the set, if you think it's cool or not. And um, I think it's pretty awesome. I like it. It's fun. I've been, I've been really digging on Transformers. I think for a couple of years, I was just kind of eyeballing everybody that was still collecting um, Transformers throughout the years and, um, and just kind of eyeballing them and just be like, yeah, I'm not doing Transformers. And then just be like, man, that looks cool through like all the earth rise and the siege stuff and all that. And then when kingdom hit, I was like, man, these are kind of cool. I like these beast wars, you know, figures and stuff. And I just started kind of getting more and more into it. And then I was just like, you know what? It's time to get back into Transformers. But I was also picking up, I guess about a year or two ago, some of the G1 reissues at Walmart and stuff like that. With some of the headmasters and some of the you know og uh transformers and stuff but um but yeah i'm back into it man they're fun they're cool and they're kind of kind of bust a sweat every once in a while just uh figuring these guys out man but i think it's good for your brain to figure out puzzles and to just follow instructions it's it's part of life man <laughs> anyways uh thanks for watching i have a good one all right later